Hello, this is Ingo from German Online Gym and today I would like to talk about German relative pronouns. But before we start, I invite you to check out my video courses. Just click on the link um, in the description and uh, I'm sure they will help you take your German to the next level. And now let's start. Okay, first of all, what are relative pronouns? Well, they connect sentences and they make the sentence structure more sophisticated. You don't have to repeat the same words over and over again, like in this example. He's reading a book. The book is interesting. Those are two separate sentences. A relative pronoun can connect these two sentences and replace the book with that. The book that he's reading is interesting. Other relative pronouns in English are, for example, which or who. And by the way, in English you often omit the relative pronoun. For example, the book he's reading is interesting without that. In German that is not possible. You always have to use the relative pronoun. Okay, now let's have a look at the German relative pronouns. And as you can see, they are exactly the same as the definite article in the different cases except for the dative, plural, denen, and uh, I haven't included the genitive pronouns on purpose because we hardly use those in a spoken language. So in blue, the masculine relative pronouns, N stands for nominative, der, A stands for accusative, den, and D stands for dative, dem. In red, the feminine relative pronouns, die, die, der. In green, the neuter relative pronouns, das, das, dem. And the plural relative pronouns are die, die, and denen. Now, this might look a bit confusing, and the purpose of this lesson is to help you understand this chart. All right, here's a general overview about how relative pronouns work. They match the gender of the noun they refer to. They have their own case depending on the context. They kick the verb to the end and they are separated with commas. Now, how does that look like in real life? Let's approach this in two stages. First, here's a typical German sentence. Die Mutter gibt dem Kind den Ball. It's very important that you understand the use of the cases here. The mother gives the ball to the child. The mother, nominative, the child, dative, and the ball, accusative. I'd like you, uh, sorry, I'd like to remind you of the um, not so official rule, but it usually works. When there is a sentence with two objects, a living being, a person or a dog, for example, and a thing, then the person is in dative case and the thing is in accusative case. So here we have the child, kind, that's in dative case, and the ball, which is a thing, uh, accusative case. Okay, we're moving to the second stage and we add a sentence. Das ist die Mutter. That's the mother. And we want to connect these two sentences by using a relative pronoun. That's the mother who gives the ball to the child. As I mentioned before, the relative pronoun matches the gender of the noun it refers to. In this case, the mother. So it's feminine and it has its own case depending on the context. What does the mother do? She gives the ball to the child. So she is the subject of the sentence and therefore nominative. She performs the action. Feminine and nominative equals die. Das ist die Mutter, die dem Kind den Ball gibt. And for your convenience, I have the second phrase down here, so you always have the cases in front of you. All right, now let's play with the focus of the sentence. 
This time we're not talking about the mother, but the child. Das ist das Kind, dem die Mutter den Ball gibt. That's the child to whom the mother gives the ball. Now, why dem? Because first the focus is the child, das Kind, and that's neuter. And second, as you can see down here, the child is in the dative case because he is receiving, uh, he or she is receiving the ball. So neuter and dative is dem. Das ist das Kind, dem die Mutter den Ball gibt. And now we are going to focus on the ball. Das ist der Ball, den die Mutter dem Kind gibt. Der Ball is masculine and it's a thing. You remember, things are usually in the accusative case. Masculine and accusative is den. Das ist der Ball, den die Mutter dem Kind gibt. That's the ball which the mother gives to the child. Now, I'd like to point something out. You see the word that the relative pronoun refers to. Here it's der Ball. And the relative pronoun itself, here it's den, don't have to be in the same case. Because what determines the case of the relative pronoun is what's going on in the relative clause. And that's the second part of the sentence down here. All right, you have to think a lot and analyze a lot. And of course, that's more challenging when you're talking and everything has to be fast. But I can assure you that practice really helps. So that's it for now. Uh, there's a lot more to be said about relative pronouns, but my goal for today was to help you understand how to apply the cases to the relative pronouns. If you like this video, please check out my video courses. Uh, the link is in the description. Uh, thank you for watching and see you soon.